thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to give you three awesome blues rock licks that are going to kick your lead guitar game way up a notch. All three of these are in my new ebook slash video series uh, called 50 Blues Rock Licks for Guitar. I have a video showing you 50 amazing licks I've plucked single-handedly from the best of the best solos out there. I also run through the pentatonic shapes. I run through all these little tricks like the hammer-ons, pull-off slides. I show you how to change the keys, all this stuff. So it's all in there. I want you to grab a copy of it today. But I also want you to go ahead and take down these three with me now for free. Let's start. Okay, now that we got you way zoomed in. We are in box one. All three of these are in position one of the minor pentatonic scale and A minor pentatonic in this particular case. So this is your scale. Fifth fret, eighth, fifth, seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth, eighth, fifth, eighth. So if you don't know that scale, make sure you look up box one pentatonic first so that way you know what I'm doing and where all these notes come from. So anyway, so let's go ahead and go through the first lick that I executed for you and the one I want to show you now. And that's a really fun double stop slide kind of move. So you notice that there are these two notes here on the fifth fret high E and B string. Right? Those are both in that scale. So a really nice, uh, clever blues trick is to slide in from two notes that are not in the scale at all, but using that as more of a, kind of a launch pad into your, into your actual notes that are um, correct for your scale. So doing this. triplet is really effective. So what I'm doing is I'm just simply flattening out my index finger, putting it on the high E and B string, and I'm doing one more additional thing that I want you to try to do as well. It might be tough at first for beginners, but just do your best to mute that G string right there with your index finger. I'm just doing it with the tip. So that way, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds nasty, right? So I'm going to start from the fourth fret, still muting my G string. But these two are okay. These guys are being played. And I'm going to just use this as soon as I pick those two strings at the same time to be in the high E. I'm going to just slide right into the fifth fret. I'm going to do that three times. So one, two, three as a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And as I retract and come back to that fourth fret, I'm actually relaxing my finger a little bit so that way the strings mute out just for a second. Because if you don't, it'll sound like this. Not what you want, you want this. Okay, and that's the first lick. So the next lick in the uh, in this video I want to show you is a really great trick that is used by almost every professional. I've probably played it in almost every really good solo I've ever played. It's a simple move. So it's just a lot going on. So let me go ahead and break it down for you. Again, we're in box one. I'm gonna be on the seventh fret of the G string, and I'm going to be just executing it just like that. So what I'm doing there is I'm picking the G string just once and I'm doing a bend here so my ring fingers on the seventh, middle fingers on the sixth, and next fingers on the fifth of the G string. These are for support here so use these. So I'm going to do my first move as a bend, up a whole step. I'm going to let it come down as a release bend and then lastly so I'm only picking it once and getting a bunch of notes out of there. Oop, a little flat. See that? So it's a big up, release, pull up. And I'm going to end it here on my root note of A in this case. Okay, so practice that. Take your time with it. There's a lot going on there. Bend, release, pull up. And then the last of the three licks I wanted to show you today is, uh, it's a, I just really like this one a lot. It adds a nice little flair to your playing. Again, in box one here. I'm on the eighth fret of the B string. So I'm playing with these notes here. So I'm on the eighth fret, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ring finger again to be my bend source. Okay? And my middle finger is going to be behind it, and index finger is behind it. Now, with this move, don't be tempted to come back down to here. That's not in our, our blues scale or our pentatonic scale. So we don't want to you know, go back into that. So when you're doing this, just make sure you don't get in that habit of, it's not gonna sound good. I come back to that note. So anyways, 
just keep that in mind. It's a common pitfall for a lot of my guys who uh, take lessons from me. So here we go. We're going to bend this up a whole step again. Go to the 10th fret note, going to our A. Okay. And with my pinky, I'm going to grab that high E string on the 8th fret as I hit the peak. See that? And that's my lick. That's all it is. So in play... That is the three licks I wanted to show you today. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with friends. And take a look at my product, 50 Blues Rock Licks for Guitar. It will change your game. Everything that you will ever want to learn is in there because it's got every little chunk of gold from every good solo I've ever played. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.